What's up, y'all? I'm in New York. Now, I really don't want to walk around aimlessly because, well, one, it's like super duper hot, humid, and I'll be sweating my, you know, what off. And two, I don't really know where I'm going, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just trying to where I'm going so I can get there and I don't get lost. I think happens. All right. What's up? So I don't have very much time, but I'm in kind of like the shopping area in Soho slash Manhattan. I'm gonna go to the vape store. I'm gonna go to Stadium Goods. Can't really take photos and pictures in there because they don't allow you to do it. So it's about to rain. I'm gonna put this camera away. See you on the other side. All right. I had to leave Stadium Goods. I was not ready for that store. I had to leave. <laughs> not ready to buy some sneakers right now. <laughs> What's, What's up? up? How's it going? Welcome to the office. It's nice, fancy. Yeah. I'm like, no, you won't. <laughs> so, what is trade, y'all? Trade is an online marketplace that represents 52 roasters. We've got about 430 different coffees on site right now. Um, and we match people to their best matches of coffee based off of a six question personalized quiz. So, I'm the director of coffee. Mache pretty much leads cupping in QC at this point, which is pretty tight. Um, and also writes a bunch of our really awesome blog posts. Sick. Sick. So yeah, I'm gonna taste a bunch of fancy coffees with a bunch of fancy coffee friends. Yeah. So. <laughs> That was my really, really good friend, Erica. She's always so happy and cheerful and awesome and knows so much about coffee. And I don't know, I just love her. So thanks, Erica. I met you in Seattle. Now I get to see you hang out with you here today in New York. You're great. That was so great. <laughs> What's up, yo? All right, I promise. I promise today's not supposed to rain. It's going to be a great day. I'm going up to Washington Heights to get some uh, comida dominicana. So yeah, join me. Good morning. Excuse me. You know, I'm a straight up West Coaster, so I complain a lot while I've been here. But we don't have this type of weather. We don't have extreme humidity, extreme rainstorms, extreme thunderstorms, and lightning. I I don't know how to adapt. I've been here three days now. This will be my third day. It's become like really kind of like part of every day to know that everyone, along with myself, is sweating their ass off. So. Today seems to be a cool day. Usually when it's 82 here and with like 75% humidity, it usually feels like, you know, 10 degrees hotter. So, but today, yesterday, it's gonna be great. <laughs> more, no more complaining, maybe. I just had probably the best Caribbean food I've ever had in my life. It was a restaurant called Malecon. It's out here on 107th Street here in like uptown basically is what they call it. It's called, it's called Mofongo. So Mofongo is basically 
green plantains smashed together with whatever kind of like uh, with whatever kind of like meat or protein that you want. Uh, I got chicharron, which is basically pork. It's got uh, garlic cloves smashed, garlic cloves, uh, plantains, uh, like a protein, like a meat, and then I forget what else is in there, but it is so fucking good. It is so good. But they give you like a side of salad, a couple of tomatoes, but the main thing is like it's like a ball of just amazing food. I don't know. Anyways, if you're ever in Uptown, 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 107th Street, uh, the restaurant's called Malecon. It's kind of like a chain. I think there's like four of them. Right now, I'm in this flea market. I'm going to go see if I can find some fruit that we don't have in California. So, all right. And so, I made it away from Uptown. Now, I'm headed to the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. The MoMA is closed. So, until October. So, I can't go that way. I'm pretty bummed about that. I heard the Met is huge, so I don't know how much I can see today. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow. But I'm working on all day. It's funny, interesting, in New York City, uh, you have 15 minutes to get to a train. So, it seems like wherever you're at, you have 15 minutes to get to that train. Well, it takes 15 minutes, not you get. It's not like you have time limit. And then, once you get on the train, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to get to wherever you need to go. And then it takes another 13 to 15 minutes to walk to where you're going. My calves are killing me. <laughs> like, I haven't walked this much in a long time. Yeah, I know I go to the gym a lot, but I don't know. I don't, I don't really walk that much in San Francisco, which is really surprising to me. But I think I have a new outlook on what it is to, to walk in the city. I'm sweating. I'm kind of tired. But that's okay, because that's part of that's part of going on vacation is to kind of like do what you need to do. See everything you need to see, especially a city like San Francisco, where it's huge. There's, there's no way I'm going to see everything in four to five days. But I needed to come see a, a museum, so let's go check out the Met, yo. <laughs> Lots of people in there. We'll get one of these later. Let's go inside, y'all. All right, I have to say that the mat was so dope. There's so much to see. So much history, it's crazy. I'm off to dinner. Hey, we had dinner out here in New York early, so I'm gonna say goodbye until tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed the Met. I sure as hell did. If you don't drink in carpet black, <laughs> that's okay. All right, peace. Okay, before I asked, Oh, yesterday was such a long day. What's up, y'all? Welcome to, I think it's day four. I don't know, I lost count. Here of my uh, trip here to New York. Yesterday was amazing. Um, the Met was great. I met up with uh, some friends later in the night. I went to a really awesome, really tasty, really good restaurant, Via Carota, an Italian place over in the West Village. It was fantastic. I definitely recommend anyone who's who loves food to check that place out. Uh, I never really have Italian food back in San Francisco uh, for whatever reason, but this is definitely worth it. Oh yeah, excuse the horse for uh, horse horse force, the horse voice and the glasses. I didn't get home until 3:30 in the morning, and that's just kind of what people in New York do. I'm gonna head out. Really excited. I'm gonna head out to go get my first bagel in New York. I think the thing to do is to get a bagel with just cream cheese, plain bagel with cream cheese, and don't ask for it toasted. Apparently that's like not a thing and you look like an idiot. So I don't want to look like more of an idiot. <laughs> and of course, uh, you know I'm going to drink my coffee black later. All right. There you go, it is. How you doing? Can I have a American bagel, please? With, uh, yeah, cream cheese. Any deal? Yeah, that's a fun plan. You can take pictures here, you have to ask the boss. Got my, so I went with 
and everything bagel, bam. See if you can see it. Went with the everything bagel, which is plain cream cheese. First bagel in New York, here we go. It's really good. I can't stop. I feel like I'm going to have a good time. shop in New York City. <laughs> Yo, that place right here that I just went to, you guys just saw, it's called uh, Black Fox Coffee. It's over on 70th Pine Street, and it is baller. Everything in there is super good. All the espressos were on point, super foody. Coffee was super great. And all the guys working in there were like, I mean, I just wish San Francisco had just like a little bit, I wanna say a little bit of hospitality like these guys just had. Um, shout out to the homie Alex and to the, to the hermano, como se llama, el hermano Arnaldo. Uh, shout out to you guys, shout out to Black, Black Fox Coffee. Had a great time, thank you. joining me on this last last day uh, I'm actually just, just more of like an outro to all of my East Coast memories and friends today is the day that I go back home back to San Francisco and I'm pretty sad I've had an amazing trip uh, met a bunch of amazing people yeah I just wanted to say uh, thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed the videos I hope you enjoyed my trip uh, I wanted to thank both again Matt and Amber you guys are amazing friends and I'm so happy that I was able to stay with you guys you guys showed me uh, my first trip to New York I'm never gonna forget that also I just want to apologize to all my friends that uh, there's so many people that I know that live here in New York it's crazy it's literally like I had no idea so many people lived here I'm really sorry that I couldn't see everyone uh, but it just gives me a reason to come back uh, sooner than later so watch out for me uh, maybe maybe next year something like that uh, so a few things that I didn't uh, I didn't get a chance to get one was a bodega sandwich. Number two, I gotta go to the Nike store because my freaking Vomero 5s gave me some bad blisters. Now, I'm not, not sure if that's because I'm not used to walking 6.5 miles a day. Yesterday, I walked 6.5 miles. That is crazy to me. I don't remember the last time I worked, I walked 6.5 miles, but that's what you do here in New York. So I won't get into San Francisco until really, really late. So this will be the last video you'll see me until the next one. And so I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like the video. Hit me up on Instagram, it's J underscore Napoleon underscore. Comment down below and let me know which spots that I didn't hit because I'm sure I missed so many. That being said, thanks a lot. Make sure to drink coffee black, but if you don't, that's okay. All right, peace.